Today we're speedrunning Bartender The Right Mix, a game where we make drinks that either our bartender Miguel will love, or ones that will kill him in extremely violent ways. And there are 10 different endings for this game, which we'll be getting them all, but for the first one we're just starting out with the adequate ending, where we combine cranberry juice, creme de cacao, triple sec, ice, and then all we have to do is shake it once. The amount of times you shake it will give you more or less points, and for this one we're just going to do a single time before we go serve our drink, which actually looks pretty good. I mean, not the nicest thing in the world, I don't exactly know what that color is, but Miguel looks around, he's a little suspicious of us, I mean we did just come to his bar and say hey we're doing this, but he takes a sip, he doesn't die right away, he looks around a second time, and he also decides that hey, it wasn't the worst thing he's ever tried, so now he has some trust in us. Yeah, he's really gonna regret that, especially with this drink, you just have to put a little bit of liquid in it, and then we start shaking. Basically up to four times shaking the drink, that will give you extra points, but once you get to the fifth time shaking, it's going to explode him, splatter him on the wall, all of his drinks are gone, he goes and falls off of it. I mean, at least he's not dead, but yeah, probably not the best result for him. And we're also not really gonna let up for this next one too, because there are more bad endings for him than there are good ones, so we gotta get through a couple of those. Our next one is just going to be combining some gin in the glass. We're not even gonna shake it a single time. He's gonna look around, he's a little bit more suspicious of us i know i may have just exploded you but he still trusts us the thing is though because we didn't make a cocktail because we basically just gave him a shot he doesn't want to live anymore and drop 16 tons on himself yeah this guy's kind of a jerk all right miguel i get it not enough alcohol for you so i'm gonna make sure we have more than enough by putting two shots of vodka right in this glass and by two shots i mean filling up the entire glass with vodka you know he complained last time and i just didn't want that to happen again i didn't want to only give him a single shot i want to make sure that he's really able to have as much alcohol that he wants we won't even shake it we're just going to go straight to that i don't know why this alcohol is yellow i feel like straight vodka shouldn't be yellow but i'm also not the bartender so i'll just let miguel do his shop he takes a drink of it and for a second he's like hey this is pretty good until then he realizes oh He's dead, falls over, and yeah, that's the alcohol poisoning ending. Which I feel like I should say for the younger people in my audience, please know your limits. Don't take an entire glass of vodka, obviously. And now we're gonna make a bit of a better drink, but it's not gonna be too good. Basically, this one is one third of vodka, one third of sambucha, and one third of passion fruit juice. The passion fruit juice is a little weird. It takes Miguel a second to pick it up. I guess he just really doesn't like it. But then we're gonna do a bit of shaking, just a single one of those. And when we go to pour it, it's going to be yellow again. I feel like the more darker orange color of the passion fruit juice maybe should have made this drink a little darker. But I guess, again, I'm not the bartender. We just gotta trust our boy. And finally, he's gonna take a swig of that and he's not really impressed. You think he would be since he is the party thing, but he blows it in a very unimpressed way. And yeah, that was really rude, I'm not gonna lie. We're back to killing you for that one. And we're not even gonna be subtle about it because one thing we haven't used too much of for this video is the ice. You can drop about four of these in the glass and that's going to completely fill it up and then it's time to shake, which we're not going to do at all. Now somehow this makes a liquid, but that's actually a lie. This is completely solid. These are just ice cubes that my boy Miguel is going to put in his throat. So he's very suspicious about this. He's like, did I shake that enough? But he's still gonna go for the drink and right away he's going to realize wow they just got stuck in my throat he's literally dying right before our eyes we don't call an ambulance or anything and finally after he passes out he comes up as an angel and goes to the afterlife hope you have a good one i love how even in death he just looks so unimpressed i don't think he really worried about dying that much to be completely honest but we're going for the ice surprise again because you know what it worked so well last time we might as well use it for another murder weapon but this time we're actually going to shake it and we're going to shake the ice four times now shaking has a really weird property where it's basically going to turn these ice cubes into lava cubes if you don't believe me just wait a second so he will make the drink. It looks the exact same. Miguel's still doing his normal thing, you know, kind of being a jerk. No one really likes how he acts all this time. But finally, he is going to take a sip of this drink and he's going to breathe fire. Yes, we somehow turned ice into a component that makes you breathe fire, makes you into a dragon. I'm not gonna lie, I might be a magician. These are pretty cool drinks. But all right, I've had a lot of my fun with Miguel, you know, giving him not the best drinks in the world. So we're just gonna give him one of the simplest and easiest drinks in the world, a vodka cranberry. Pretty much everybody does love the vodka cranberry. We're not even gonna have to shake it. And overall, this is a good drink. It has a great color. Miguel, I don't even know why you're going to side eye me like this after you saw what I put in there. 
but here's where Miguel is going to take a sip and it's going to surprise you. A very normal drink, he decides to puke. I do not understand how that isn't good enough for you and your high standards to appreciate, but I actually do, and you'll see why in just a second. See, now we're gonna make the exact same drink, but this time we're gonna add ice. Every time you add in ice, it gives you an extra thousand points. So yeah, literally just an ice cube was the difference between a drink that he's going to enjoy and a drink that literally made him puke. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Nobody likes warm drinks, but I guess we're just gonna make it for him. We're not even gonna shake it because who needs to do that? So this drink isn't even that much colder. It didn't even get a chance to cool down. I don't even know what Miguel's standards are at this point, but he's going to give us his usual side eye. I can't really blame him after all the torture I've put him through. Finally, he'll take a drink and right away he smiles and he brings out, well, he doesn't actually bring out a guitar, but he pretends to play a guitar. That's how much he enjoyed the drink, but there is still one that is better. And this will be the drink that surprises you most of all, because this is what I call a vodka surprise. All right, we're going to fill vodka almost all the way up to the top of the cup. You would think this would give him alcohol poisoning, but then we put the tiniest bit of triple sec and we put one of our ice cubes. Now all we have to do is shake it, which we don't even really need to shake it. We can put a lemon garnish on top, which is gonna give us some extra points. And this does look like a very good drink. I'm not even gonna lie, but you wouldn't really think it's that good. I mean, this is mostly vodka and we've seen how he reacts to mostly vodka before, except he is going to take a drink and right away he realizes Wow, this is amazing. A holy light comes down from the heavens as he looks at his drink in admiration and realizes this is what he's been searching for his entire life. You know, he's never been a good enough bartender by himself to make it, but we have finally been the ones who can make the drink that will change his life forever. And that's going to be time 650. And that will be a speedrun world record, but I also wanted to tie the world record for the best drink. You can see the timer in the corner. That's how long I actually spent on trying to attempt this. But basically how this game works is there are 180 80 units of volume in the bottle that we can put in there. And each of the drinks has a certain amount of points. Vodka is going to be 50 points, so we want to put 178 units so we can get 890 points from that. Secondly, we can get some triple sec, which is going to be 45 points. We want to put only a single unit in there and we can put some ice in, which takes up 50 volumes usually. But if you save it for the end, you can do it with only one volume and it's going to add an extra thousand points. Then we can shake the cocktail four times to get 100 points and finally add a lemon garnish to add an additional 200 points. This is going to give you the absolute perfect cocktail that you can make. So we'll see when our boy Miguel goes and drinks the thing. He's going to absolutely love it. Now, I'm not the one who actually figured this out. If you want to go check out the channel that did, their name is WGET. I will put it in the description and in their description, they have a really good explanation of how all this works. Even more in depth than what I just said, going over all the drinks and what all of them give you. But yeah, what I said is basically all you need to know to make the perfect drink, which is going to end up being 10,000 245 points. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.